Well, hello, pre-calculus students and seekers of general truths. In this video, we will prove an important identity of combinatorics. And this is really the identity that describes what's going on in Pascal's triangle. So for example, if you recall, uh, Pascal's triangle is this collection of numbers that are created in a very specific way. Right, you have this, every number is either the on the far left or the far right which makes which means we make it a one or any numbers in between we add the two numbers above so we take these two up here add it together and that gives us this number here all right and what this identity is showing us is let's say that this number here is n choose r well, it's formed by the two numbers above, right? The, the number above here is n minus one, choose r minus one. And the other number is n minus one, choose r, okay? So what we're trying to prove right here is that Pascal's triangle is identical to this particular identity or, or Pascal's triangle is identical to the rules of, combi of uh, combinations, all right? And I've already started things off here. We know that if we expand the right-hand side, we get n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. We also know that if we expand on the left side, we get this. So we're going to continue with this proof by continuing to expand the left-hand side, all right? And, um, and why does that expand? Maybe I should clarify. We're just going to clean up a few things first. So you still have n minus 1 factorial in that numerator. We still have r minus 1 factorial in the denominator. And then this part right here, um, the n and the r is going to remain. So we have n minus r. And you have a negative 1 minus a negative 1. So that's going to be gone altogether. Okay. And then over here as well, um, on the second term, we still have the same thing, n minus 1 factorial over r factorial. And then I'm just going to rearrange these letters a little bit. So this is going to be n minus r minus 1 factorial. Right, so what I highlighted down here, n minus 1 minus r, well, we can put the negative r and the negative 1 in either order. Right. Okay, so now we have two separate fractions, and we would like to, we need to combine it together uh, because we need it to look like the right hand side. So, one of the things that we can do is look at the, the common denominator. Well, if you look at these two denominators here, let's look at the r part of it first. Okay, this one is an r factorial, and this is r minus 1 factorial. So, if we want this denominator to be the same, we have to multiply it by r, okay? So we multiply by r over r, rather, right? Because we, we, we're still trying to keep the fraction to have the same value. Okay, so we're gonna multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction here both by r. And then you see here, n minus r factorial, and I'm gonna write a side note here, n minus r factorial is the same thing as n minus r times n minus r minus 1 factorial. So if we treat n minus r as like our number, a number factorial is that number times that number minus 1 factorial. All right. So if we want to get this fraction here to be like this one over here, then we need to multiply by n minus r. And we have to do the same thing to the numerator, right? So now if we simplify things a little bit, we'll see that these two fractions will have the same denominator. So I'm going to go through this a little bit slowly, just so that I don't lose anybody. So the numerators, I'm going to keep exactly the same. I'm going to say n minus 1 uh, factorial times r. And over here, this is going to be n minus 1 factorial times n minus r. Okay. Now the denominator, this is where things simplify a little bit further. So we have r times r minus 1 factorial. So another way we can write that is just r factorial. And then 
we have n minus r factorial over here. And then over here on the right side, we or the right uh, the, the other term, uh, the r factorial is the same. Now again, n minus r times n minus r minus one factorial is the same thing as n minus r factorial. So you see that the, the denominators here are identical. And so what we can do is we can combine the fraction together. Now in combining the fraction together, uh, we have n minus one factorial times r plus n minus one factorial times n minus r. All of this over r factorial, n minus r factorial. Okay. And we're almost there. You see that if just let's not let's not forget the right hand side that we're aiming for. In the denominator, we need to get r factorial times n minus r factorial. That's exactly what we have already. And what we need to do now is clean up or maybe simplify, as I, what I would say, the numerator. And here's the idea. We can notice here, we should notice that there's an n minus 1 factorial in both of these terms. So we're going to factor out the entire n minus 1 factorial and then see what do we have left. Well, what we have left here is an r plus this other term, n minus r. I use square bracket for the start, so I should use square brackets to n. And once again, our numerator should remain exactly the same. And as we can see, uh, the positive r and the negative r cancel each other out. And what do we have? Well, we have n times n, fact, n minus 1 factorial. So I'm going to just draw a line here so that we, we just separate the work here n times n minus 1 factorial, right? which is just n factorial. Okay. So the r is canceled. We end up with n times n minus 1 factorial. So maybe I should write this one more time. So you have n, fact, n minus 1 factorial times n, all of this over r factorial, n minus r factorial. And you see n times n minus 1 factorial is just n factorial, which is exactly what we're aiming for. Okay. So there we have it. We're, we're done. right? If we start with the left hand side, apply all the steps, work out everything correctly and slowly, we end up with this result right here, which again, the significance of this is that it proves the correctness of Pascal's triangle. In mathematics, it's great when we stumble onto some of these theorems and ideas and tools. It's good to have in, an intuitive understanding of everything, but it's, we also need to have a rigorous understanding uh, of our work. As always, keep working hard. Ask for help. It's okay to ask. Have a wonderful day.